Ladies and gentlemen, goddesses and werewolves, I go by the name of Cleo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick. Living, how is your coronavirus quarantine social distancing going, huh? Do you have any answers for me with this stuff, man? Uh, the world is in a really crazy place right now. There's a lot of stuff going on. There are people getting sick. There are people who are being really, really affected by what's going on with this, this coronavirus. You know, you've got, um, you know, the nurses and the doctors working their asses off trying to, you know, make sure that people are healthy, people can recover. It's been, it's been wild, man. It really has. Um, during this time, what I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of self-reflecting. I've been doing a lot of uh, plotting. Been putting a lot of goals on my uh, my dry erase board in my room, and slowly but surely, I've just been crossing them off one by one by one by one. Uh, you know, working in the entertainment business, um, also slash content creation business. You know, it's funny how that that's become the thing. Is it went from entertainment business to kind of like yeah, everything you do is entertaining. So now content is considered the entertainment business. Um, it's been crazy because. You know, it shut down everything. Any projects, any any films, any TV shows. You know, any any pilots, things that were supposed to go into production. Uh, you know, got shut down. I, I was I was set to go live uh, on uh, on production the very first week of uh, of March. I was set to go. Uh, everything was lined up. We had the show ready, and this stuff happened, and they they put a they put a hold on the whole thing. Um, so in the meantime, I've been, you know, tucked off, making sure to check on my family, uh, working out. Uh, and I make sure to tell you guys, I want to encourage you all to try to stay healthy. So, you know, get a workout and do some cardio, do some push-ups, uh, do some sit-ups, do some squats. For the ladies out there with the Tinkerbell booties, you might want to go ahead and take this time, come out of quarantine with the thickness. You never know. You never know. Fella, she come out of quarantine with a whole lot of booty. You be like, well, girl, where you getting all that from right there? She be like, I've been just eating and squatting. Eating and squatting. Yes. Uh, but I've been doing that. I've been working out. Um, back to the goals that I've had on my list. Uh, I uh, was able to get my channel uh, taken care of with YouTube. There was this thing going on with my channel for a long time. I don't know when it happened. I don't know how it happened. I blame it on the Jake and Logan Paul thing. Something that they did caused YouTube to go back and change the rules. And then my channel had to go through a whole um, process of even being okay to be even online. It was it was this, this thing. It took two and a half, three years to get it uh, all figured out. And during this time, with me having the downtime to focus on more content creation and myself and you know rebranding, it worked. I was able to get my channel up and going. So that's why you guys are able to watch more videos because it makes sense. Um, I've been on my Twitch heavy. I've been doing a lot of gaming. I'm already a gamer. I've been a gamer my entire life. You know, let me think. Let me think of the consoles I've had in my life. I've had the Atari. I've had the Nintendo. I've had the Super Nintendo. I've had the N64. I've had the GameCube. I've had a Wii. I've had a Wii U. I've had a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I have my Nintendo Switch plugged in over there. Now let's go to PlayStation. I've had the play the PS1. I've had the PlayStation and the PS1. There's a difference. The play the PlayStation was the the initial big gray one, and then PS1 came out, and it was the really slim. Uh, PlayStation and then there was also this attachment that you can buy that you can put a screen to the back of it Yeah, I, I had that one and then I had the ps2 and then I had the ps2 slim. Okay, then I had the ps3 All right, here we are at the ps4 currently now. I got the very first model ps4 my I got the white ps4 But I have not updated or upgraded to the ps4 slim. I probably should do that I think my brother has a ps4 slim. I've had the Xbox. I've had the Xbox 360 I do have the Xbox one right now so yeah, gaming has just been a big part of my life. I've, I've always, always found time to you know take my mind away from things and jump on a video game. I've, I've always enjoyed RPGs. I've always enjoyed fighter games. Mortal Kombat is one of my all-time favorites. That's why there is a Mortal Kombat arcade cabinet right there in here. This does work. Let me turn this on really quick so you guys can see. I am wearing a Mario uh, <laughs> shirt today. Big shout to Box Lunch. They sent me this. This is from the, uh, their store. Do I know how to plug in? No, it's plugged in. Is it black looking? Wait, hold on, hold on. I swear to God it works. I swear it works. Hey, there it is. Mortal Kombat's one of my all-time favorite fighting games, and this is why I have an arcade one-up cabinet in my house. Uh, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3 are on this uh, machine. They have, a, they have some really good arcade cabinets. They have a Street Fighter one, 
They have a, uh, they have this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one that I really, really, really want. I gotta go get that one. Um, they also have an NBA Jam one, which I really like. I, I gotta get that one too. So yeah, I've been playing games, man. Twitch.tv slash Cleo Thomas. Uh, if you are into games or if you want to come by and kick it with us and enjoy it, jump in the chat. Um, you know, we'd be on for a long time just playing games and talking, which, uh, you know, what else could you really do right now? Uh, but I look forward to getting myself to the Twitch partner status. I'm almost there, actually. So I'm really excited to, to hopefully get that all the way locked in before all of this craziness is, you know, over. Twitch partner status would mean a lot to me. Uh, it's on my board, on my, uh, my dry erase board. So yeah, I've been doing that. I've been playing video games. And so let's see, YouTube, killing it. Twitch, gaming, killing it. And uh, eating. Let's talk about what the heck I've been eating. My, let's talk about what I've been eating. Let's talk about this really quick. So when they said you got to stock up, right? I was like, well, what am I going to do? Like, like, I know what I like, but like, I'm, I'm more of a snack type of guy anyway. But they talking about this could get real. So like, I got I to gotta like really like, mm, what's going to hold me over? So let me tell you the first thing that I went and bought that I didn't ever buy before ever. Okay. The first thing I went and bought, I put inside of my, my little grocery cart, freaking bagels, bagels. I hated bagels growing up. I was like, yo, I'll never forget. They were always around. My mom always, my dad always had bagels. I'd be on set and always be bagels around. I'm like, who the hell eats these fake donuts? Like, this is definitely what older people are eating. This is stupid. Who the hell wants a fake donut? There's no sugar involved in this fake ass donut. That's what I used to think as a kid. I really did. But, you know, so I never got on the bagel train. And then the first thing I went in and, and scooped up at the grocery store was bagels. So bagels and cream cheese. I'm like, oh, I get it now. You throw that in the toaster and you put, you put the cream cheese on it, fold it out. Mm. So bagels. Bagels is, on, is, is definitely a go for me. I got a lot of Gatorade in here. Uh, I got some fruits for my smoothies. Oh, big shout out to... Let me, let me, let me talk about this real quick. Let me talk about this. So I make my little smoothies, right? But shout out to Dole or Dole. Dole me. Dole me fa so fa si do. What? That probably wasn't right. Anyway, point is... Uh, these are the sliced strawberries, and I really, really like these because it allows me to make my uh, strawberry protein shakes way quicker, way quicker. So we got orange juice, a lot of water, eggs, bread, ooh, butterscotch pudding. There's nothing like butterscotch pudding. I love butterscotch pudding. There's vanilla pudding. Eh, I could do vanilla pudding. Chocolate pudding, sauce kind of, tapioca. I'll never forget the very first time I tried tapioca pudding. I was offended. As a man, I was offended. I wanted to know who made this, this a flavor. Who made this? Whoever this person is, I want to know their ancestors. And then I want to know their legacy. I want to know their kids. I want to know their children's children. Because I will forever make fun of who in the hell ever created tapioca pudding and likes tapioca pudding. I don't get it. It's disgusting. It's gross. Uh, we got Oreos. We got lots of popcorn. Of course, I got some oatmeal in here. I don't have peaches and cream because that was sold out. We're at the 112, but we got strawberries and cream. Keep that on deck. Uh, oatmeal cookies, chips, Quest Nutrition Bars, stuff like that. And uh, a lot of rice. A lot of rice. I grew up uh, eating a lot of rice with my meals. So I have a rice cooker. So I make sure to always have a pot of rice going. Good. Yep. Boom. Some rice right here. Of course, all the time. So yeah, man, this is what I've been doing to kind of stay tucked off. Uh, you know, a lot of things have been canceled. NBA season canceled. WrestleMania is technically not canceled, but they can't even have WrestleMania where they originally intended it to be, which was in Tampa Bay, Florida, at a whole football stadium. They can't even do that this year. So they had to, uh, I, I, I don't want to say cancel because it still is happening, but it's just not happening at the level that we as wrestling fans want to see WrestleMania like. You know, people travel from all over the world to come to WrestleMania, to, to go to, to, to the uh, WWE Access, to the WWE Hall of Fame, and then you go to WrestleMania. You also got the NXT pay-per-view that was supposed to be going on. You've got Raw, you've got SmackDown. Like, it, it was all gonna take over Tampa Bay, and that's not gonna happen anymore due to the Rona, if you will. Um, with that being said, though, man, I just wanted to Drop a quick video, talk about what's going on and kind of, you know, talking about my daily life dealing with all this craziness out there in the world. Um, but please take the time to, um, you know, reflect. Please take the time to, uh, you know, keep yourself healthy, keep yourself safe. 
and uh, check in on your family members, check in on your friends, do some FaceTime parties with you and your partners. You know, why not, man? Find, find something creative to do to keep your mind, uh, you know, kind of intact with all this craziness going on. Um, I don't know about middle America. I really don't know what's going on in any other state, honestly. So if you're living in another state, please leave a comment below and let me know what you got going on. Like, what's, how, is, how is this affecting you and your family and your living conditions and, uh, and things like that? Because that, that I'm aware of, California, New York, and Florida is hitting pretty heavy. But if you're in Chicago, if you're in Texas, if you're in uh, Nevada, if you're in Arizona, if you're in South Dakota, North Dakota, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, let me know. All right? Love you guys, goddesses, and the werewolves. Stay safe, and most importantly, stay on the hunt.